what's up everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Alyssa and I start medical school in three weeks. Let's get started how I'm preparing now that I am three weeks out. This is probably an obvious one, but I'm making sure to stay up to date with all of the emails and the webinars that my school is putting out and I am accomplishing any task that they give me as soon as they send it so that things aren't piling up on me. I did make a video on all of the requirements that my school has had. I'll link it up somewhere around here, but basically I go into some of the immunizations and titer requirements as well as financial aid. I'd also like to add a couple things to that list. Um, I needed to get a fingerprint clearance card it's basically a more in-depth background check that my school requires of its students. And I also needed to set up direct deposit for my financial aid. So add those to that video that I made and go check that out if you'd like to learn more there. All of the things that I'm going to talk about today are more optional just to make me feel more confident going into starting school. So the first thing that I've done is I've found a note-taking app for my iPad. I'm not really used to taking notes on a computer or an iPad. So I downloaded OneNote. My school is a Microsoft Office-based um, school, so I thought that this would be complementary to that. And I'm also um, getting familiar with Anki. Um, it's a spaced repetition flashcard learning software, and I used Quizlet when I was in college, but they didn't have that spaced repetition component with it, but they did have games. I thought Quizlet was really nice. But anyway, I'm trying to get used to Anki. Also, I am getting more familiar with Microsoft Office because my college used Gmail and uh, the Google platform. So it's not that big of a deal, but I just don't wanna be like lost in any way with the things that I can control before starting school. And I've also been working on updating my iPad and the software on my phone, just so that I don't have those little notifications um, all the time about updating and making sure to back up my devices because I find this to be kind of distracting. Now moving into more like school specific things I'm doing, I found resources for support like learning specialists and tutoring and counseling in case I happen to need them. And I've also been ordering some items for school. The first thing I've ordered is extra masks so that I have enough to get through the week without needing to do laundry. I've also been looking into ordering professional outfits. Um, ooh, I also got an exercise ball for sitting on. I didn't get a big enough one, so it's kind of low. So if you're looking into getting one as a chair, make sure to, um, yeah, measure it out. And like, I'm just gonna show you. There's like a, like a little plug here. It's really hard to get out um, after you've filled it up, so, make sure you do get the right size because it could be really difficult to return. And I also have a, a treadmill that I converted into a treadmill desk. So I'll show you real fast. Um, basically, I just put my iPad up here and I work while I'm walking. So if you have a treadmill uh, and the arms are flat, you could make it into a treadmill desk, which is really kind of cool, I think. The students in the class before me recommended a number of items to get. So the first thing they recommended was an iPad with a stylus. So I already have the iPad, but I just got the Apple Pencil. I'm getting used to uh, using this. And they also recommended items for your locker, like a padlock and snacks. And they also recommended an ID badge reel, which is like a little thing that your ID hooks onto and um, it like reels out. <laughs> But anyway, I got a custom one with my dog on it because I think it's adorable. And the students before me also recommended getting a whiteboard, markers, and a eraser. And also they recommended figs, scrubs. So I asked my school if there was a color requirement and it turns out they actually provide scrubs. So I'm just going to wait to get scrubs. So my commute to my medical school is about 25 minutes long. So I've been trying to add as many um, songs to my Spotify uh, liked playlist as I possibly can and I've also been selecting audiobooks that I can listen to as well as podcasts and for my audiobooks I thought I could share those real quickly so the first book um, I will be reading is a book called Every Patient Tells a Story Medical Mysteries and the Art of Diagnosis by Dr. Lisa Sanders if you've seen Diagnosis on Netflix by the way awesome show. This doctor um, tries to help patients with really complicated diseases that their doctors aren't coming to the bottom of what it actually is, so she uses crowdsourcing to come up with solutions for the patients and potential diagnoses. Anyway, I'm reading this book and it's really interesting so far, and I'm also preparing a list of orientation questions. 
I've also been joining Facebook groups for my school. A lot of the um, healthcare professionals and medical students I've talked to have recommended just relaxing before starting school. So I am making sure to take a week off of work before I start school and I'm making sure to sleep in on the weekends and read interesting and enjoyable books. One of the books I just completed was Small Great Things by Jodi Pickled. It is a really eye-opening book and it has a beautiful ending showing that people can change and yeah, I would highly recommend that book um, if you can, look into it. And then some of the books I'm reading right now. Um, the first one is Roar, How to Match Your Food and Fitness to Your Female Physiology for Optimum Performance, Great Health and a Strong Lean Body for Life by Dr. Stacey T. Sims. Um, it's really eye-opening on how you should treat training differently as a female versus a male. Um, I really like weightlifting and just um, I used to run a lot and bike, so really insightful book, enjoying it a lot. And I'm also reading Think, Learn, Succeed, uh, Understanding and Using Your Mind to Thrive at School, the Workplace and Life by Dr. Carolyn Leaf. This was given to me by my mother-in-law and I think it's really fitting and will probably help me in medical school. So I'm actually trying to finish this one before starting because I think that'll be the most helpful. Okay. That's done with books and audiobooks and probably overwhelmed you. Um, but one of the other things I've been doing is just trying to talk to my friends and family as much as possible. Life organization. I have a number of things here, starting with getting appointments scheduled like dental, medical, hair appointments, getting them either scheduled or completed before starting school. That way, you know, everything's squared away and you don't have to worry about scheduling that in. And I've also scheduled pet appointments for like grooming and vaccinations, etc. for my dog, cleaning out my car, and I've been dropping off returns. Um, I really enjoy procrastinating dropping off returns. I don't know why I dislike it so much. I've been tying up loose ends at work so that the transition with me leaving, it goes more smoothly for them. Automating bill payments and canceling subscriptions I won't be using much during school. I'd like to do a big house clean, getting rid of some unused items and things that I could donate. It usually it makes me feel a lot better and um, clears my mind when I you know, have everything organized and cleaned and ready to go. Anyway, I know this was like a lot of stuff. I hope it can be helpful if you're starting medical school soon. I hope that this can give you some ideas of how to prepare. If you like this video, please leave it a like and subscribe if you're interested in following my journey through medical school. And yeah, take care everyone. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.